Hungry, 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 hungry. Oh boy, we got some food after a good long run. Booyah, here we go. Carb load, carb load. Carb load. I'm hungry. Hey, my friends, how's it going? How's everyone doing? I hope everyone's staying safe, happy, and healthy, and it's Metal Monday. And don't you love it when you come home and you check the mail out during the week and look what shiny new piece of hardware came in the mail? It's my Houston Half Marathon. So that's it, the Houston Half is finally in the books. I've been waiting for this thing to, to show up and I hope you guys had a great weekend. Let me know in the comments below. Did you run? Did you race this past weekend? Did you set any PRs? Let me know. I'd love to hear about how everyone was crushing what it is that you're trying to achieve. And we got through the week. We made it through the week that was and I tell you it was all kinds of, as I mentioned before, when the weather turned, we had to adapt this week. I didn't really have much of a highlight reel to show everyone this week online because, well, there were, you know, other than some data and analysis, which we'll go over here shortly, not a lot of highlights outside in the weather. So we did a lot of things indoors. I started the week out uh, indoors on the track and here's my track day that I did inside. Then Tuesday I had my recovery run, which was on a treadmill and we you know it is the treadmill and we had to get her done. Uh, Wednesday popped around, I looked outside at the weather and it, it was almost about minus 40. And I said, you know what, take it as a rest day. And, and, and I talked to my run coach and talked to my strength coach. I hadn't taken any time off in, in January uh, in, when the like, training block started or most of February. So I said, I'm taking this day to just chill and reflect on my training to date and, and going forward. And I used that Wednesday to do a lot of analysis on my running. I was really trying to understand where I was missing the boat on my cadence. And because my running coach has mentioned before, he's trying to get me to this 180 magic mark cadence. And I'm like, I haven't, all my runs have been stagnant. I think I've been getting into that gray zone in running. You know that zone, that 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 zone when we're all comfort in. We 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 get into that zone and we start running in it, and we stay there and we don't challenge ourselves. And with that, we don't get the gains that we're seeking for ourselves to be able to sustain whatever goal it is that we're trying to achieve. And for me, it's that sub two hour half marathon. So, really looked at that data on Wednesday and and try to understand what I was doing wrong. What I'm realizing, and again, it's good that I'm taking my, my footage with me. I can, I can look at my form and how I'm running. So I did a deeper dive into Cadence. I watched some stuff on YouTube, and YouTube's great because we can see uh, a lot of different things that we're looking at and how to improve. And I, t and I talked again with my, with my coaches. And lo and behold, the next few runs after that, I bumped my kids up to 165, and which is great. And that was just from changing my form a bit, really running tall, shoulders in, not slouched over like that, and using my arms and motions like that. And by doing that, I'm getting a lot more, you know, mobility and, more, and I'm not, I'm using my body more for my running and I'm not trying to do it all on my legs and, and power out. So I'm really trying to, trying to understand the mechanics behind, you know, for me especially too, with losing all the weight that I lost, my body's somewhat new. If you're new to the channel, I lost 206 pounds total. So my whole body mechanics right now is out of whack, right? So I'm kind of leaning to one side or, or whatever. It's because I'm trying to understand the mechanics of, of the new me. And I'm trying to get used to it still. And, um, you know, you look yourself in the mirror, you still think you're the same old guy, but you're not. It's, it's a completely different body now. And I have to really... Uh, react to that when I'm out running. So that that's what I spent my Wednesday doing and, and I really feel I'm on the right track. So much for the rest of the run week went really, really well. Um, just did an aerobic run on Thursday with some strides at the end. And then on Friday, I'm sorry, Friday did another strength day. I did get to the gym on Friday, make sure I hit this, the gym. Saturday I was I did my uh, lawn run and I and I felt great and I and you know I felt really good on my run on Saturday 
Uh, and now I'm just reflecting to next week. So that was my cutback week. And now we're ramping. We're going up the ladder now towards Mississauga. So March is going to get a little squirrely. And this, you know, with some of the running that I'm doing. And, uh, you know, I'm getting in some higher mileage. And, and just really ensuring I'm, I'm watching that pacing. Watching how I'm going um, to make sure I, I'm, I'm not going to... Gonna, do too much and risk injury. So uh, here's a look at the week in the glance and here is actually the month in the glance and you can kind of see with the month in the glance how I'm going up the ladder in my mileage as far as my long run is concerned. Like I'm doing a 145 to coming Saturday, a two hour, uh, a, two, a 210 or a 230 and I think I'm going all the way up to about 245 before I start ramping back down in April towards my peak run about mid-April, and then we start our taper into Mississauga. So that's basically the gist of it. And I really also appreciated, you know, my, my strength coach reached out to me. And I'm not tooting my own horn. You know, I did, you know, I did miss my day on Wednesday, but she actually said, I was really proud of you, Ryan, how you're, 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 you're doing your thing and you're, and you're ensuring you're, you're consistent with your training. Because I really feel in that strength that I'm doing now, which I was not honest about my last training block. Uh, you know, to be perfectly honest with everyone, there were weeks when I said, yeah, I did a strength training course, but I don't think I was doing it properly. I was, I was maybe doing about half of it, not the full thing. And a lot of it was doing it from home because I didn't have the proper facility in order to, to work through with, with things shut down. So, um, so I took that as a gimme and I said, well, I'll just do a little bit of stretching and light yoga and that's about it. That's, those are my strengths. But now I'm really hitting the weights and it's really, really, really starting to see some impact in my running. So I'm excited. You know, I still got a long way to go to get to where I want to go. And, but it's those little things that we do for ourselves and each, each week we see the progression in that. Uh, Weight-wise, let's talk weight. So I haven't seen any real changes. Uh, I mentioned before in my, one of my last update vlogs is 177. I went back and weighed myself at the gym. It fluctuates anywhere from 177 to 181. Now I really feel that that's because I'm gaining muscle and muscle mass in, in my in my body as I'm going forward with my training. So I'm not going to be like <gasps> I gained two pounds because it's not really a big deal. I'm still eating um, correctly for the most part, except for the maybe the couple of one days or twos when I when the weather got bad. I was like, eh, let's have a little burger or something like that for that day. So. But at the end of the day, I've been eating eating right, um, so I I don't care if I, if it's a one or two pound fluctuation. And with the way my body is, maybe I can't get to 165. I don't know. Uh, I don't know what my body is going to be able to lose, if anything, because I'm because I'm in the gym doing that strength and core. You know, and now I'm building muscle, and and it could be stagnant. So this could be the weight that I'm at. Uh, the point is, I'm I'm getting that that uh, functional fitness and now that I'm miss missing before and it's making a huge, huge impact out there when I'm hitting that pavement. And we're excited for March to see where March goes. And that's it, that's, that's the week that was, that's the week that is coming up. Uh, if you're out there and, and you know, it, you know, don't beat yourself up. Look at what, what it is that's out there, and, you know, and, and you know, if, if you miss a day, who cares? You know, just make sure that consistently you're getting everything done. But you know, I took a Wednesday, big deal. Is it gonna make an impact on my overall marathon block? No. Uh, do I feel bad about it? Heck no. Uh, so so just, just take it for what it's worth. If you miss a day in your training blocks, it's okay. You can make it up or you know what? It's not the end of the world. Have yourselves an amazing week coming up. Get outside, do something for yourselves. Some exciting things coming up on the channel uh, in this next week or so, and that's all I'm going to say about that. Catch you next time on the vlog. Get outside, lace up those shoes, and...